Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial. In today's session, we are going to see what are the different styles of Informatica MDM implementation. So this, uh, these types of styles are not specific to any particular MDM implementation uh, or any uh, vendor specific MDM. So these type of styles can be used in any type of the vendor MDM implementation. For example, if you want to use it in the IBM MDM, you can use it. If you want to use it in Informatic MDM, you can use it. So let's have a better understanding of this type of styles. Basically, there are four types of MDM implementation styles. Those are coexistence style, transactional hub style, registry style, and consolidation style of course for the business uh, we cannot explain these terms uh, business people will not understand this more technical thing so we have the other business uh, understandable styles also we will see those shortly so first we will see one by one these types of styles so suppose you you brought the product informatic MDM product or IBM MDM or any other vendor provided MDM product. Then how to start or how to implement that MDM product in your business. So those are nothing but the MDM implementation styles. As I discussed or as I mentioned, there are four types of styles. So let's have a look on the first style that is coexistent style. So what, what is this style? So in, in this style, actually master data is stored at various locations so for example in your business you have the supplier data you have product data and you have the customer data so for the product for the customer or to supplier all these main domains you have separate master data so those are stored separately in the mdm ecosystem Whenever it is practical that this style can be that this style can contain master data. So that means each domain, like for example, product or supplier or customer is maintained separately as a master data. If it is not practical, means for example, if there is need to achieve the relationship between the customer and the product in your business and customer exists in one system and the product exist in the different system in that case the link between these two systems is achieved or it is created to show the relationship between these two domains but like suppose a customer and supplier so there is no relationship so this is practical that there are two domains can exist separately so they have their own existence or they have their own importance but there are some uh, there are some scenarios such as product and customer where we need to show the scenarios for example if you are in the customer care service center and you got the call from the end user asking about the product what are they brought uh, they have some issues so as a customer service agent we should able to see all the product brought by that customer to have the better service so in that case, customer and the product relationship has to be achieved. And if customer present in one system and the product present in other system, that relationship has to be achieved. And that is achieved through the linking these two domains. Most of the time, it is practical choice and not strategic choice. So that means it is not planned. Uh, so this type of style like coexistence style it is not choose as a strategic decision so that means they might have developed the supplier first supply domain first and as going further as the business grows they come with the mastering of the customer or any other domain so then they added that domain in the mastering the data so it is possible it is a more uh, like practical approach it's not strategic approach 
it allows incremental growth. That means you can add more and more domain as your business grows. So that is the positive point or positive thing about the coexistence style. The big risk about this style is issue of the synchronization. Suppose you have the customer and the product. There are and if there is a link between these two domains and these two system exist separately they have their own existence in that case it is possible that the data is out of sync so the the product which are not brought by the customer might have the link or the product which are brought by the customer are not shown as a relationship so the data synchronization is a big risk with the coexistence style this type of the mdm implementation is also called as synchronization mdm so this is a first type of the MDM implementation style. Next style is nothing but transactional hub style or it is popularly known as a centralized style. So what is this style? A given set of data is selected as a system of record and updates happen directly to the system of record. For example, customer. If you choose a customer as a domain, the record or the system of record is treated from that system. Any update or for example any input is coming to that particular record that will be directly updated in this system of record. So MDM itself is a, a major component or the core component. It will act as a core component. So updates directly will happen in the MDM system, not in the source system only and only one system becomes source of master data in this case if you if you see the diagram a red colored data system is become the a main system or master data system the other system will be like the input or either downstream systems the data which is entered in this core master data system has to be cleansed and standardized before going to update or insert into that. Updated records are distributed to the consuming system. That means once the record is updated, the updated record are synced in the downstream system. This is very costly and uh, the implementation is very complicated. So this is called as a centralized or the transactional hub system. It is very popularly known as a repository MDM. So the main data will be in the MDM. So initial data load will be there, but any further up update or any further insert in the system will be directly updated in the core MDM system. The next system or next style is a registry tile. So, so far we have seen two styles. First is coexistence style. Next is transactional hub style. And third is a registry style. In operational system, there are basically two systems, operational and analytical. In particular, in operational system, master data is stored in one system and other systems have pointed to the master data system. For example, we have the core MDM implementation and this core data is stored into the MDM and other supported data is stored in the other system so for example operational data source ods system the core system will maintain the master data and in the ods systems the pointers will be there a linking will be there to point to the master database so just whenever the a 360 degree of view or the complete customer view is required the transactional data will be pulled from the operational ods database and the core or the master data will be pulled from the master database. Only read access will be given to the downstream system. So one of the restrictions about the registry style is the downstream system will have only the read access. Registry style system contains less number of record identifiers. So if you want to identify any particular record, less number of columns will be involved, which are unique columns. So that is the reason it is little faster. This system provide cross reference to the data managed in other systems. So for example, the source, there are 
five or more than five sources in which are contributing this record so cross reference will be maintained data quality of the data in the master data system depends on the data quality in the source system so there is no separate activity for the data quality so what are the data quality present in the source system will be inherited into the master data system so we if your business itself have the source system which are having the good quality then they can think about creating the registry style mdm implementation the registry selects base version of the data dynamically via the matching at the hub it is very easy to implement but there are performance issue because there are so many connectors or there are so many components are getting connected to this uh, main implementation so this is the third type, type of uh, implementation style the next is the consolidation style so business data from the different source system is merged means we have the matching and the merging mechanism with which it will create a single golden record any insert or update to any particular record in the system goes through standardization and cleansing operation source data is not updated it is left as it is so once at the initial time the record will be loaded in the mdm system next onwards the record will be directly updated into the mdm system so the source data is not resynced back with the updated record it kept as as it is data quality is taken care separately before entering into the master data system so that means um, the extraction mechanism and the mastering the ma mastering the data in between these two component there will be third component called as a data quality system which will actually standardize and cleanse the data or particularly it will maintain the data quality this mdm style is suitable for the enterprise wide implementation both for operational as well as analytical approach that means this is nothing but the enterprise style uh, implementation where the you have the core mdm co M component and there will be supporting consumer applications in your enterprise so if you have that kind of uh, scenario in your business then this is a good style to implement for operational purpose this style can be illustrated by the ods that is operational data store and for the analytical data this style can be illustrated by the data warehouse so that means the mdm is associated with the ods for the operational uh, approach or operational purpose and for the analytical data we have the data warehouse as a supporting system to the mdm implementation but these styles are more technical which business will not understand so how to explain to the business or how to how we are going to elaborate to this business about the mdm implementation styles so at high level there are three types types of mdm implementation style first is operational next is analytical and the third is enterprise internally it is using the same four styles but for for the high level we have categorized these styles into three categories first is operational next is analytical and third one is enterprise suppose a business orientation is towards operations okay for example if you have the product list uh, which is uh, if you have the product list which is oracle or the sap implementation with multiple instant instances of this and if you want to get the list of the product or the list of customer or the list of suppliers from this combination of various erp system so for getting the data or getting the master data is a big challenge so problem here is how can we get this master data from all this system efficiently and effectively so to come over this we have the mdm implementation style that is operational style so if you have this issue then you can go with the operational style then we have the analytical style for the analytical system we do not bother about the getting the list of the master customer or the list of the master product 
other supplies rather we are looking forward for getting or for reporting and analysis of the customer list in order to determine cost to customer or cost to product it is more like a data warehouse like activities so the here key key importance is performance so you are you will be looking for the better performance of your implementation so not rather than the just a list of the customers so in that case analytical styles helps next is enterprise style so here the enterprise means everything will be involved like not your your core product but also the supporting system downstream system or the upsets upstream system those will provide the input and will be consumed by the downstream system so all the systems all the environment security will be involved this is the third style is nothing but the enterprise the major problem if you have in your business if it is inconsistency of data then this is the good choice of the implementation problem in the all areas such as reporting planning etc or any other key system then you can choose the enterprise style then which style should we use shall we go for the operational analytical or enterprise it is totally depend on your business requirement if you if you have the problem with your operational system then go with the operational mdm implementation if you have the issues with the all the components with the inconsistency in data then go with the enterprise you know, style implementation so this is overview and we also seen that there are four basic mdm styles of implementation that is coexistence style transactional hub style registry style and consolidation style all this mdm implementation comes with the all the vendors which are in the market i hope this tutorial will definitely help you to add some knowledge about the mdm implementation styles and uh, if you have any questions about the informatica mdm or any other supported components or services then you can mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time